Hi, I'm Tidlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. With the arrival of warmer weather I've got quite a few jobs on my list this week but I'm going to start with planting some vegetables. I've got some onion sets for red onions and yellow onions. I've not grown onions before so I'm quite looking forward to this. And I'm going to put them in the raised bed next to the greenhouse because there wasn't really anything growing in there last year. So the first job is just going to be to turn the soil over and help make it a bit lighter. Pull out any bits of root that I happen to find along the way. It only took me about 10 minutes to dig it over because the soil's nice and light. Just try and level all the soil out of this rake. Okay, that's quite good. Now then, I've got a bit of a problem here. The local cats think that this is some kind of giant litter tray. So I need to protect this bed to keep the cats off it. Now my anti-terrorism measures of choice are some netting and some sticks of bamboo. I'll start off in this corner. I'll just thread the bamboo a couple of times through the netting and then poke it in. Okay, that's good. Now, before I hem everything in, I really should plant my shallots, shouldn't I? Duh! So I'll start with the red onions at this end. and They need to go with the rooty bit downwards. And I'll poke the first one in just below the surface, about six inches from the borders. Just below. That's OK. And then the next one will be a couple of inches away from it. It's good. Poke. 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 Then space the rows about six inches apart. One of the most difficult things actually is remembering where you poked the last little onion set. So it's a good idea to have in your hand at least as many as you're going to plant in a row. Ooh, that one's upside down. And down at this end, I'll plant the yellow onions. It's not a bad idea, actually, if you don't push them all the way in until you've set them out, because it's very easy to lose them in the soil and then forget where the next row is going to be. Then finish off by just poking them just below the surface, covering them up. That way I know where they all are, at least where I planted them anyway. Give them a good watering with my three pound watering can. Look, three pounds. It's a bargain. Right, now I can finish off my anti-terrorism measures. <laughs> Now, I'm not expecting that this is going to be foolproof by any means, but it might just give them a message that actually, if they want to do a poopy, they should go and poopy elsewhere. I thought I had some pliers. Aha! Just snip down the middle. Just pull this one out. Ooh, yeah! Ooh, yeah! Looking good. Let's make sure there's no little gaps 
underneath that a pussy can actually poke through. As I say, I'm not expecting this to be foolproof, but at least if it keeps them off long enough for the onions to establish themselves, I'll be very happy. I'm back in the greenhouse again. I'm probably going to be back in the greenhouse most weeks. A, because there's stuff happening, and B, B, because I'm going to make stuff happen. So here are my courgettes, and as you can see, they've been going rampant, and it also confirmed my fear that these things are just weeds, so they're coming out. I'll leave the courgette, get all the nutrient from the soil, all these little weedy things. The leeks aren't looking too bad either. There's some popping up here. It'll be time to pop them on within probably three to four weeks, I'm guessing. You remember the cactus and the four apple seeds that I planted? Well, the cactus is still looking okay. I mean, it doesn't seem to be growing much, but neither does it seem to be dying. But look at this. One of the apple seeds has popped up. Cool. Now, you remember last year I grew quite a lot of chilies. Well, I kept some of the chilies because I'm going to use the seeds to grow more chilies this year. And I've got four types. I've got some bird's eye chilies. I've got some long thin chilies. I've got a sort of fatter squatter chili and an even fatter squatter chili. And I'm going to take the seeds out of these, pop them into some seed trays. So the first thing I need is a tray of seed compost and I've got a chili here. I'm just going to break it open and then sprinkle the seeds randomly onto the compost. What I'm ideally looking for is about probably eight or nine good plants. <coughs> oh, wow! <coughs> they may be dried, but they're still pretty pungent. And just sprinkle a little bit of compost on the top to cover the seeds. Give them a water. And then, because I've got four different types of chilies that I'm going to plant, it's important that I label them so I know which is which. Now I'll do the other three lots. So there we are, four types of chilli, a bonnet type, a jalapeno type, a desi type and some bird's eye chilies. Looks like it's going to be one hot summer. There's lots and lots of birds on the raspberries. And there's some new shoots at the base of the raspberry canes as well. This is really exciting. The rhubarb is ready to burst forth from the ground any moment. Lots and lots of shoots on the brambles. There's loads of buds breaking on my new plum tree that I planted last year, as well as the apple trees. There's some colour from the daffodils coming along the border at the back. I've got little patches of grape hyacinth that have opened up as well. They're really cute. I quite like those. The roses are sprouting and those lovely yellow flowers are starting to come into their own in certain parts of the garden. In fact, it's all starting to look rather spiffy. Something else that's rather spiffy is this. It's the new Super Tiddly Bird Cafe featuring small seeds, fat balls, bathing tray, hanging fat balls, seed tray and squirrel. The squirrel has actually been sitting in this seed tray. Peanuts, sunflower seeds, all on this fabulous black metal thing. It's taken a little while, but the birdies are finding their way to this new cafe. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and please join me next week in Tiddly's Busy Garden. <laughs>